Yeah, here I got my Bedini Renaissance battery charger, battery rejuvenator, and uh, you can see on the top here it's got settings one through three, all the way up through eight. I got it on setting one. Now you're not—they tell you you're not supposed to do this, but I have been doing it. Um, this is a 12 volt lantern battery dry cell, and I plan to use this battery with the Bedini RPX. Um, I don't know what you call it. Boy, they don't want to call it a med machine or a rife machine. They call it an experimental machine. It's a Bedini RPX. RPX stands for Royal Rife. Uh, the P stands for Priore, uh, Anton Priore, the Italian guy that developed some kind of electronic magnetic pulse plasma thing. You know, boy, if you, re if you dig into this, the medical community will tell you it's garbage. And then there's a whole bunch of medical people that have a loads of credentials say it worked like it did miracles and cured pretty much everything so that's what the two initials stand for on RP um, Rife Puree and X in the RPX is experimental I mentioned that on the other video when I kinda just did a quick nonchalant overview of the latest Spooky 2 software and I deliberately don't get real technical on my videos even if, I guess I could get technical if I want to learn this junk but I don't, that's not my style. I have recharged this battery with this. And, uh, you know, I was curious, like, one time I left the damn lantern battery, like, this one's been recharged a bunch of times. See, it's rusty on air in the terminals. This thing's been well used. It still works. This is a new one. And I keep those in a refrigerator. Um, in a tray, you know, in a refrigerator. But I have charged these larger lantern batteries with this thing on setting one. And I left them on there. One time I, I didn't intend to leave them on there. One time I left it on there and a green light came on. And the green light comes on, it means it's fully charged. These are not supposed to be recharged. I found out these Rayovacs, I don't know, they seem to work okay. But this battery is like rare as dodo eggs. You know, it's uh, you can see this thing. My dad had this puppy, man. It's like, Mirr. see? <laughs> A floodlight man <laughs> back then that was a high tech well you know what it's gonna it works under all circumstances no electronics this thing I think I want to put in a Faraday cage maybe maybe I'll have a Faraday cage built in a wall and I'll just throw it in there man I don't know <laughs> this thing is too damn valuable but it only works off of um, you can't really run this off of a generator like you're running your generator it runs off of pure sine wave electrical current like you get from the power company. So, you know, I got, you know, if you're using an inverter, it's got to be pure sine wave inverter to run this, this uh, battery charger rejuvenator. This damn thing works. I've been using this like, I don't know, how long did I have this? A couple of years, a year and a half? I don't remember. I'm using it like crazy. I use it on all these rechargeable batteries. These, I like these damn things, these Panasonic Antelope. I have recharged Rayovax, which <laughs> it's supposed to. But you know the ones you really got to watch for that are not rechargeable, that if you're trying to mess around with? It's these little AAA ones. The bigger ones, like the D size, a lot of times I can get away with just freaking, I put a charge back in them in the last, they'll probably be about, I don't know if you want to give a percentage, maybe 80, 85% as good as a brand new one. And it'll last a long time. And then the next time you do it, you might be able to do it two times. They're not really made to be recharged. You know, they're non-rechargeables. I found out the Rayovacs, you could charge them a couple times. And these big damn lantern batteries, they seem to work okay. Because on setting one, it's a big enough battery to not overdo anything and strain whatever's in there chemically or structurally. If you're trying to do that with a AAA, if it's not designed to be recharged hang it up. I have have done it, but I had to like do it for like 10-15 minutes at a time experimenting. But you know, I don't really need to do this, but I kind of do need to do it for this damn thing. Because this battery is like rare as dodo eggs, and I don't feel like replacing them all the time. And I don't, I didn't see any rechargeables like this. Maybe they got some around, it cost like $80 or something. I'm like, yeah, what else? You think I'm going to pay 80 Whatever. They got some crazy prices on stuff that don't, that's not commonly sold, right? Like this. Uh, but this, like I said, uh, I'm going to use that 12 volt lantern battery for my Bedini RPX uh, Rife machine.
when it comes in. Well, it's, well, wait a minute. It's not a rice machine. It's an experimental machine. And I'll show you what else I got with it first off. So, so that's why I'm going to be charging it with this. I'm not going to buy the battery pack. I already got this. I'm just laying around. I don't even know what the hell I bought this thing for. You know? I think I bought it for this, and I found out this is a 6-volt, not a 12-volt. I got no use for it, and I'm going to use it up. And I'm going to keep recharging it and using that Bedini device instead of buying an electronic battery pack because he says you're supposed to use a dry cell with it, not a wet cell. Believe it or not. I don't know why the hell that is. And if you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, you'll see later on whenever I get that thing. Hopefully it's back in production. The Bedini RPX. RPX stands for Rife Pure Experimental. Royal Rife Antoine Pure and uh, Experimental. But you, you want to use a dry cell, not a wet cell. Believe it or not, there's, there's a difference. But I got the other component for it already too, so that's why I'm going to get it. But this is why I'm going to be charging this up with that. I'll bet you, we're going to find out, because this is going to get used extensively on that R Bedini RPX when I get it in. And uh, if, if I get it in, if they get it back in production, um, and I'm going to see how many times I could charge this damn thing up. Later on, it'll, 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 we'll find out. It'll be, it might take months, but later on, we'll find out. I've already done it on this lantern battery a few times. Works good. Yeah, it's the other thing. Uh, you did, I didn't know where the hell I had this. I forgot I had it on running on uh, Vision to Improve Frequency 1830 with the Spooky Tube remote. But that's the other component I needed with um, the Bedini RPX. I should change this frequency to something else. Let's see. Oh, wait a minute. Up there. Well, I wish this crap worked like, you know, this remote thing, I'm not sure how great it works. With just a plain square wave, but it does have some minor app. Well, I already did that experiment with the fleas. I'm going to put it on 666. That's some kind of freaking crazy sexual thing. It's got something that would improve your sex drive or something. Put her eh, throw it in there. That'll be good. Anyway, so... <laughs> anyway, so I'm running that for right now. But this, uh, that I already got the other component for the Bedini RPX. I don't need to buy that. That's that's one of the things he said. And you could plug this in. You could run it off batteries, but I got to plug into the AC or what did I have it plugged into the USB? Eh. So the lantern battery, that's a perfect freaking 12 volt source. Doesn't need to be very powerful. And that thing's going to be recharged umpteen times. So we'll see what happens several months from now when uh, I recharge it umpteen times because you know I'll be using the hell out of that Bedini RPX assuming gets back in production because you remember what happened in November John Bedini and Gary Bedini both died in November and that thing went out of production and I I've been actually I know what that th I didn't know that thing was the six wave Russian style mixing with the pulser I didn't realize that's what the hell that was if I would have known that I would have bought it before so don't want to say a lot on here right now. And there's a reason I talk nice and plain. It's part of the, well, whatever. I'm smarter than the way I talk, believe me. But anyway, you know, if you want to believe that, fine. But I already got this doohickey and I got the other thing. And uh, the point of this video is we're going to find out some months from now. I've already recharged the lantern batteries a bunch of times. Yeah, I've, re I've recharged this thing a few times. And I definitely recharged this thing a whole bunch of times with that <laughs> you're not supposed to be able to do that this is definitely not endorsed by Rayovac but I put it on setting one and boy they wouldn't like that either now like I could say with these little jobbers if you have like a, a Rayovac this is not this one's a rechargeable this is a Panasonic in a loop very good battery if you got a Rayovac like this size yeah, I tried to recharge one of these and I left it on there and all the guts came out of it. You know, it sprayed the, the juice. Um, when I did the D-Siles, the D-Size the D's, the D's batteries, eh, no problem. The C-Size, they work too. Um, these little guys, you got to kind of put them on there for like, I don't know, 15 minutes at a time or some crap. But the big ones, yeah, I haven't had a problem with them yet. 
But that's me, okay? I'm experimenting. I'm not telling you to do this, but if you got a dead battery, you notice I put this on a plate just in case it leaks uh, battery fluid or some crap. I don't think it will, though, because I already recharged this guy a bunch of times, and this one a bunch of times. And this is 12 volt, that's 6 volt, and this is a smaller 6 volt. I know it already works. I don't think there's going to be any problem with that on setting one. So, this thing, this thing is more than paid for itself umpteen times over. Believe me, man. You know, I've, I've been using it on my drill batteries and everything, man. I think it's freaking great. And John Beanie's no longer with us. But his spirit is smiling down. And uh, I'm going to try to keep his stuff alive, man. And you know what? If I get pissed off, I don't really like electronics, to tell you the truth. But i just tell you a little story. When I got out of the Marine Corps, I forgot everything I knew about accounting. Because I was in the Marine Corps for 13 years. And you know, that stuff makes you stupid after a while. If you're in the Marine Corps, you just you get smart in some ways. In other ways, you just get dumb. And back when I was doing accounting before the Marine Corps, early, like in 1980 and stuff, um, we had the most high-tech stuff. It was called a Wang machine. And... But we were, that was the final financials went on at. The, any backup information was on tapes. It was on tapes and had it in a, a dust-free room. We had, you know, even in this major, as I was working for the Stern family, actually, Hart's Construction, up in New Jersey, near New York. And we did everything on uh, big, long spreadsheets. Big, long, you know, general, I mean, not the, not the computer one. There was no, there was no Microsoft Excel back then. Uh, you know, by hand, with pencils, and calculators, you know? As a matter of fact, I got some, I had some super high-end calculator, did mortgages and all that crap, if you don't remember how to use it. So when I come out of the Marine Corps, I, uh, just dumb story, if you don't want to hear it, I didn't know nothing about computers. And so I'm like, here's a computer, and I'm like moving the mouse around, I said, oh, look at a little arrow moving on a screen. I think that was like they had 386s, or 486s was the latest thing, they didn't even have Pentium back then. And I, inside of two years, I was uh, doing advanced complex spreadsheets, pro formas, which you say that's not a big deal. But I also took off the, well, I think it was the AS400 computer back then with uh, just text file, imported into a spreadsheet, then ran a visual basic for applications to convert the file over to something else, then imported these different various, various files into access and I made a major database which coordinated the builders information that he had on with the senior partner who was financing him in California and gave him an entire freaking construction uh, accounting system and not only did accounting but you could see the DCC the direct construction cost the indirect construction cost the profitability by square footage on various model houses uh, profitability by um, options um, you know what what you know what subdivisions were making the most money and all that kind of crap and a guy made you know hundred you got up to a hundred million dollars net worth of course the guy liked me of course but I don't like doing that shit but you know like I went from a dummy well you know what it was because before that in my SATs I had 99 percentile top one percent mathematics plus I have 30 degrees in math, which is 24, you only need 24 credits in math, which I don't remember all that shit, and had, you know, a, 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 but I was an accounting major, two majors. So, if I want to get into electronics, which I don't, uh, I could probably hit the freaking shit pretty fast and learn it pretty quick. But if I got into electronics, it's going to be on these Rife machines. It ain't going to be on this battery shit. It's going to be on the Rife machines. But anyway, just want to tell you that, um, my, I got an intense interest in uh, health and healing, and uh, if we can get some electronic methods to do it, and just want to throw this out in the end here too. You wouldn't believe, and this just comes from uh, major sources. I forgot which I have it on other videos. I forgot what it was. They already know how to change genetically modified seeds back to better than the original with electronic methods. And I put that out on a video. I don't know what the secret is, but a George's Lukowski multi-wave oscillator might work. That might actually work, too, because it brings in energies in and around us. That's just a side note. I'm going along on this crap. Just want to tell you. But this 
you know, just a dumb application like this. I don't want to spend like you know, 20 bucks on a battery. Hey, thank you, Badini. Great job, man. Good to go. That's what I'm doing.